Jessica and her husband Wardell lived in California. They were happily married and proud parents of a handsome boy and a beautiful girl. When the Chinese couple approached them for assistance, they felt compelled to help, understanding the longing to be parents. However, they soon discovered that the journey wouldn't be straightforward. Jessica was eager to offer her womb to this couple in need, empathizing with the physical and emotional toll they had endured. She was thrilled to think she could bring joy to those who had suffered for years. Unfortunately, things took an unexpected turn. Jessica Allen worked at Omega Family Global in San Diego, the same organization that facilitated her introduction to the Chinese couple. After agreeing to proceed with the surrogacy, they signed a legal contract outlining all terms and conditions. But when did things start to go wrong? As the biological parents and the surrogate developed a bond of trust, Jessica signed the necessary legal papers, preparing to carry their child. A thorough medical examination confirmed that she was healthy enough for the pregnancy. However, pregnancy can be unpredictable. After several medical tests, Jessica's womb was implanted with the Chinese couple's fertilized egg through IVF. Everyone was optimistic and excited as they awaited the arrival of the baby. Unfortunately, only the implantation was successful with the first attempt, leaving everyone eager yet anxious. Under her doctor's guidance, Jessica took estrogenic and progesterone supplements to prepare her body for the pregnancy. Her diet was carefully managed and her meals were tailored for optimal health. However, around the sixth week of her pregnancy, doctors began to notice concerning signs. During an ultrasound, doctors were astonished to discover an unusual occurrence. Jessica, who had undergone IVF, was carrying twins, a rare situation where a fertilized egg splits after implantation. While Jessica was thrilled to learn she was carrying two babies, this news would soon complicate matters for everyone involved. Jessica felt overjoyed knowing she could provide the couple who had longed to be parents, with not one but two children. However, none of them anticipated that this blessing would lead to unforeseen challenges. The couple was ecstatic about the prospect of twins. They had been dedicated to supporting Jessica, initially paying her $30, thousand along with her expenses as a surrogate. With the news of the twins, her monthly compensation increased by an additional five dollars thousand. Everything seemed to be going smoothly until the babies were born. On the night of December 12, 2016, Jessica experienced intense labor contractions. She was rushed to the hospital, and the biological parents were notified. After a caesarean section, Jessica successfully delivered two baby boys. The atmosphere was joyful, until the intended mother noticed something unusual about one of the babies. After the twins were born behind an opaque screen, Jessica didn't get to see them right away, but she was thrilled to hear they were both healthy. Later that evening, when the intended mother visited, she showed Jessica a picture of the babies. Something seemed off. Jessica recalled that one twin looked like a typical Chinese baby, while the other did not. It was clear they weren't identical, but I didn't ask questions, she admitted. This choice not to inquire would have consequences later on. After the delivery, life returned to normal for everyone. The Chinese couple reveled in their new role as parents, while Jessica and her husband, Wardell, felt fulfilled knowing they had made a significant impact. However, a month later, a text from the intended mother would change everything. Using the compensation they received for being surrogates, Jessica and Wardell planned to buy a new house and were excited to move in with their two children. Then that single text message came through, bringing their lives to an abrupt halt. Jessica never expected to hear from the Chinese couple again. After offering her womb to carry their babies and ensuring their safe birth, she assumed their paths would diverge. So when the intended mother sent her a message, it caught her completely off guard. The content of that message would soon consume her thoughts. The message included a picture of the twins and read, They are not the same, right? Jessica felt a wave of confusion wash over her as she continued reading. Have you thought about why they are different? This only deepened her worry. What was going on? The intended mother expressed her growing concern, suggesting, I think he is your baby. The twin that lacked Asian features didn't resemble the Chinese couple at all. This revelation shocked Jessica. How could this be possible? Faced with these doubts, she knew they needed to take action. Jessica and the biological parents quickly arranged for a DNA test for the twins. The results were staggering. One of the babies was not a result of the embryo they had implanted but was, in fact, Jessica and her husband's biological child. How had this happened? The medical professionals quickly grasped the situation. This was a case of superfetation, where a pregnant woman conceives another baby while already expecting. The two babies would have different gestational ages, one belonging to the Chinese couple and the other to Jessica. 
Their reaction to this revelation was nothing short of astonishing. Jessica and her husband were left speechless by the discovery. It was an awkward moment, but they clarified to the other couple that their decision to try for a baby came only after consulting with the IVF doctor. They had been instructed to wait until it was confirmed that the embryo was successfully implanted before planning their family. The couple explained that this unexpected pregnancy was neither planned nor intentional. The doctors had advised them against any sexual activity, emphasizing the need for precautions if they felt inclined. Unfortunately, it turned out that the pregnancy was the result of a failed contraceptive measure. So what would happen next? The news of a third baby caught Jessica and her husband off guard. They were not prepared for such a surprise, especially given their financial situation after investing in a new home. Panic set in as they realized they were facing a much bigger challenge ahead. While Jessica and her partner thought bringing home their baby would be a straightforward process, they quickly discovered that it would be anything but easy. Contrary to their expectations, the Chinese couple was not ready to simply hand over Jessica's biological son. Once the couple realized that one of the babies wasn't theirs, their interest in him faded instantly. This was a painful moment for Jessica, especially when she learned that someone else was caring for her son. To make matters worse, the couple demanded $22, thousand in compensation before they would relinquish her own child. Jessica and her husband were already grappling with debt from their new home, and now they faced the daunting task of raising the $22, thousand to appease the couple. The organization also informed them that the caregiver looking after their son would require payment as well. Feeling overwhelmed, Jessica and her partner found themselves in a desperate situation. With two children already and everything slipping through their fingers, they were devastated to hear the heartbreaking news that their son was to be put up for adoption. It was appalling that the caseworker had put Alan's baby up for adoption, offering him to couples eager to adopt. This decision seemed to stem from the caseworker's attempt to recoup the money Alan owed him. If things didn't work out, the Chinese couple would have to place the baby for adoption since they were still considered his legal parents. Jessica had already met the Chinese couple and had even acted as a surrogate for them, trusting them completely. She believed they would readily return her baby, but this straightforward gesture had morphed into a monumental struggle. Heartbroken and feeling betrayed, she was devastated. When Jessica learned that the intended mother was prepared to put the baby up for adoption, despair settled in. Each day became more difficult as the agency demanded payment before she could reclaim her own son, as if she had to buy him back. Thus, another battle began. As news of the situation spread within the agency, discussions erupted about who was at fault. Opinions varied. Some blamed Jessica and her husband, others pointed fingers at the IVF doctor, while a few thought the intended parents were to blame. Some argued that Jessica and her husband should have completely abstained from intimacy after the embryo was conceived, while others insisted that the IVF doctor shouldn't have allowed them to do otherwise. There were even whispers that the Chinese couple was simply trying to manipulate the situation for financial gain. But Jessica knew she had to act quickly before she lost her child. After a month of struggle, Alan and Wardell finally secured an attorney to help them reclaim their son from the agency. Jessica maintained that the Chinese couple wasn't at fault. The agency had missled them into thinking she would sue when that wasn't her intention at all. Jessica found herself in the midst of a legal battle that felt exhausting and overwhelming. After a long fight with Omega Family Global in court, they were relieved to be free from any financial compensations. However, securing physical custody of their son proved to be just as challenging. The agency continued to delay the process, claiming that the Chinese couple was unwilling to sign the power of attorney papers. After much struggle, Alan finally got to hold their son in her arms. It was two months after the birth of her baby boy that Jessica had that moment. On February 5, 2017, she was finally handed her child. Overwhelmed with emotion, tears streamed down her face as she hugged and kissed him tightly. She named her son Malachi and felt an immense joy knowing he was now part of her family. Although she acknowledged that she and her husband hadn't planned for a baby so soon, they cherished the unexpected addition. Yet there was more to her story. When people ask if she regrets being a surrogate, Jessica has a firm response. She has never regretted her decision as it allowed her to bring happiness to another family. To regret her choice would mean regretting Malachi and that was simply not the case. Now Jessica and her family are happy. Although they've resolved their legal issues, they still face debt. They remain hopeful that they will overcome this challenge, believing that together, they can conquer any obstacle.